Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have square root of 24 over square root of 30 plus square root of 6 and its whole power is 24. So we write this into the simplified form without using the calculator. Okay, so here calculator is not allowed in this question. Uh, so now uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we write these into the simplified form. So this is 24 and we write this 24 as 6 times of 4 and its whole square root divided by this is 30 and we write it as 6 times of 5 and its whole square root plus this is square root of 6 and its whole power is 24. And now in the next step here we apply the nice radical law. So according to this radical law we just separate this radical sign on both of these terms and it will be written as square root of 6 multiplied by square root of 4 divided by square root of 6 multiplied by square root of 5 plus square root of 6 and its whole exponent is 24. And now in the next step uh, here we focus in the denominator and in the denominator you see that this is square root of 4 and we know that square root of 4 is equals to 2 and it will be written as square root of 6 multiplied by 2 and it is divided by here we take common square root of 6 from denominator and the remaining terms are square root of 5 plus 1 and its whole exponent is 24. So now you see here this square root of 6 is cancelled out by this square root of 6 uh, and uh, the remaining terms are 2 over the square root of 5 plus 1 and its whole exponent is 24. And now uh, here we just rationalize this expression and we write it as 2 over square root of 5 plus 1 and it is multiplied by square root of 5 minus 1 and it is divided by square root of 5 minus 1 and its whole power is 24. So now you focus in the numerator and you have 2 is multiplied by square root of 5 minus 1 and it is divided by here we use the nice algebraic identity. So this is a plus b into a minus b equals to square root of 5 square minus 1 square and its whole exponent is 24. Here we need more simplification and we write it as 2 into square root of 5 minus 1 and it is divided by these two are cancelled by each other and we get 5 and 1 square becomes 1 and its whole exponent is 24. So here uh, we obtain 2 into square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1 is 4 and its whole exponent is 24. So you see that this 2 times of 2 is 4 and we get square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 and here we just break this 24 and we write this 24 as uh, 3 and its whole exponent is 8. We know that 3 times of 8 becomes 24. Okay, so here we separate this cubed on uh, the upside and downside, and we write it as square root of 5 minus 1 whole cubed. And we know that 2 cubed equals to 8, and its whole exponent is 8. And after that here we need to use the nice cubic formula so you know about cubic formula a minus b whole square is equals to uh, a cubed plus b cubed sorry this is negative so we have a cubed minus b cubed minus 3 into a minus b okay minus 3 a b into a minus b or 3 a minus b into a b so here you have square root of 5 and it is divided by 8 and its whole exponent is 8. So uh, after that uh, here we obtain so this is the square root of 5 cubed and uh, we write it as square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 5 3 times and minus 1 cubed is 1 and here we multiply 3 into square root of 5 on here then you get uh, minus 3 into square root of 5 squared 
minus 3 into square root of 5 and it is divided by 8 okay so uh, and its whole exponent is 8 here we need more simplification and now we multiply square root of 5 into square root of 5 then you get here 5 only into square root of 5 minus 1 and here you see that this 3 uh, this 2 and square root are gone and you get 3 multiplied by 5 and 3 times of 5 becomes minus 15 and uh, here you get sorry this is plus 3 into square root of 5 okay so you have plus 3 into square root of 5 and it is divided by 8 and its whole exponent is 8 so further uh, in the next step uh, we have 5 into square root of 5 plus 3 into square root of 5 becomes 8 into square root of 5 and minus 1 minus 15 is minus 16 and here we break this fraction and we write it as this is 8 and this is also divided by 8 and its whole exponent is also 8. So you see that this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and this 8 to the 16 so we will get here square root of 5 minus 2 and its exponent is 8. So here uh, we need to take some uh, substitution so that here we take x is equals to square root of 5 minus 2. Then uh, in order to find the value of this term it means that we find the value of x to the power of 8. So x to the power of 8 equals to square root of 5 minus 2 to the power of 8. Okay, so we find uh, the value of x to the power of 8. So this value is equals to uh, this value. Okay, so uh, now here uh, we first move this minus 2 in the left hand side. Here we need to find the value of x to the power of 8. Okay, so if we move minus 2 in the left hand side and it will be written as x plus 2 equals to square root of 5. Here we take a squaring on both of the sides and it will be written as x plus 2 whole square into square root of 5 whole square. Here we use the nice square identity and it will be written as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times of ab equals to 5. Okay, these are cancelled by each other and you get 5. And here we move these two terms to the right hand side and it will be written as x squared equals to 1 minus 4x. We call this is our equation number 1. So because we find the value of x to the power of 8, now here we take again scaling on this term on both of the sides and it will be written as x squared and its whole squared equals to 1 minus 4x whole squared. So you get x to the power of 4 equals here we need to expand this formula and we get 1 plus 16x squared minus 8x okay. Here we back substitute the value of x squared so our x squared is 1 minus 4x we substitute it here it will become uh, 16 into 1 minus 4x minus 8x. We multiply the 16 on both of these terms it will become 16 minus minus. 64x minus 8x okay so you get here 1 plus 16 is 17 and 64 minus 8 becomes here 72 into x this is the value of x to the power of 4 and now in order to find the value of x to the power of 8 here we need again squaring on both of the sides and it will be written as 17 minus 72x and it's a whole squared okay so uh, after that here we need to expand this formula and you get here 17 squared uh, plus 72x whole squared minus 2 times of 17 into 72x also in the left hand side we have x to the power of 8 so we get x to the power of 8 equals to 17 squared equals to 289 and 72 squared is equals to 5184x squared and these are multiplied by each other and you get here 2448 into x. So here we need a uh, more simplification and now we back substitute the value of x square and you get 289 plus 5184 into x square equals to 1 minus 4x 
minus 2, 4, 4, 8 into x. Here we multiply this term on both of these values and it will be written as 2, 8, 9 plus 5, 1, 8, 4 minus. When we multiply 5, 1, 8, 4 by 4, uh, then you get here 2, 0, 7, 3, 6 into x and uh, this is minus 2, 4, 4, 8 into x. So here we add or subtract the like terms and after add or subtract the like terms we have x to the power of 8 is equals to here you add these two terms then you get here 5 4 7 3 and when we add these two terms then you get 2 3 1 8 4 into x. So this is the value of x to the power of 8 and now we back substitute the value of x8 and we get we know that x8 is equals to uh, square root of 5 minus 2 to the power of 8. So it means that uh, we have square root of 5 minus 2 to the power of 8 is equals to 5 4 7 3 minus 2 3 1 8 4 into x and we take uh, our uh, we take our x is equals to square root of 5 minus 2 and now we multiply this term on both of these values and it will be written as 5 4 7 3 minus 2 3 1 8 4 into square root of 5 and plus 4 6 3 6 and 8. So here we again add the like terms. We add these two terms uh, and you get here uh, 5 5 1 8 4 1 minus 2 3 1 8 4 into square root of 5. So this is the our required simplified form of the given equation. So uh, here we have uh, 24 square root divided by 30 square root minus 6 square root plus 6 square root and its whole power 24 is equals to this one. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.